Okay, so I'm going to show how to disassemble a Dell Inspiron 155565. Um, this says model P66F, P66F002. Um, that's not the actual model number. Usually I have to go to Dell's um, website and then use the support to search like one of these numbers to get the actual model. But yeah, this is a Inspiron 155565. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. So right now it's the hinge that way. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen screws. Once you remove those fifteen, you can pull the CD tray CD drive out. And then there's three more screws under here. So these you have to use a pH zero screw, and these you use a pH one. Once you do that. Um, be careful because a few of these screws help hold the hinge in place so you don't want to kind of put too much pressure opening the hinge but what you want to do is you open this um, you'll see the gap here and I already took it out so it'll be easier but you get your fingernails in there and while you're pulling with your fingernails you push with your thumb down and it'll pop all around um, it'll make kind of a loud pop it'll kind of sound like it's breaking but um, don't worry, you're not breaking it. That's just how it is. It makes like really loud pop sounds. So go all the way around. Um, once you get around this side, just go pull on it and then kind of wiggle this. Um, a few of the screws are different size. I believe um, this one for the CD drive and then this one in the corner here. <clears throat> so don't mix them up. Try and keep them in order. All right, so here you can see the bottom, if you need to see that for some reason. Okay. So here you can see they have two sticks of RAM. It's uh looks like DDR4, four gigabyte PC4 2400T, okay. So just like every other computer, push these to the side, it'll go up at an angle like that. And then you can take it out. Make sure when you put it back, put it back at an angle and then press it down. Okay. So like I was saying, be careful because the hinges, the only screws that are actually still there are kind of like here, which doesn't give it much leverage when you open it. And so it'll pry out the these things if you're not careful. Okay. So just be careful with that. So here you can see the LCD cables here. Um, this looks like the power button connector. Um, Right, and that goes underneath the fan and under to the other side. So it looks like if you wanted to take the motherboard out, um, if this keyboard, oh, the keyboard's actually melted down into place. So it looks like you'd have to take this out so that way you can lift the motherboard or you have to like flop it over. Um, then you got the wireless card here. There's a little cover on it. To take the wireless antennas out, you just pull from the back of the tail. Don't try and pry it from the front and then it should just flip up like that. And then same thing when you push it down, just line it up and then push it in. Okay, you can see all the ports here. There's the CMOS battery here. Then you got the speaker cable and the speaker. So it runs all the way here to the, both, the other speaker. Then you got the hard drive here. So if you need to replace the hard drive, you can. It's connected with this cable. Be careful, disconnect this cable first. Be careful not to damage this. And then just remove the other screws and you should be able to just slide it back. There's like a gap. Um, if it hits here, you'll most likely have to like tilt it up like that and then slide it. Just don't tilt it too far. Well, I guess this connector's separate, so it's okay. You just lift it out actually. Um, there's no sliding. Okay. Um, and then you got this USB board, which is separate. So if for some reason the USB um, or the SD card reader is not working, then you can replace this cable here. Okay, then you see there's a cable here. It's separate for the CD drive. So if for some reason the slot breaks, you can replace that or the cable. Then you got the fan connector here. You can see all the screws for holding the fan in place. And the heat sink. The um, CPU is soldered to the board, so you can't really upgrade without replacing the board. And then it's missing the stuff. So this board has a design for like a dedicated graphics, but this one's not using it. All right, and I think that's about it. You can see the um, <coughs> keyboard connector. I believe this is for the trackpad and then the backlight. And there's another connector there. So that's probably for these lights. Uh, yep. And that's pretty much it. 
So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them um, down below. Um, these are my customer's computers, so usually once I finish, um, I won't have them in my possession anymore. But um, yeah, so here you can see the charge port as well. Um, it looks like to get to the charge port, you'd actually have to take the whole board out. There's actually, it goes underneath. So yeah, um, I'm not going to show that. If you're, if you don't know how to do that, then, um, you probably shouldn't be messing with it too much, but, uh, pretty much, yeah, just take all the screws out for the board and then just be careful lifting it. Um, the battery, if you want to take it out, usually if you're going to remove anything, you want to disconnect this first and then hold the power button for a few seconds. But this one, you can actually grab the sides and then you can wiggle it. So yeah, so you can see it comes out, but yeah. So yeah, and then it looks like this is also removable from the battery's end. So you can actually disconnect the battery from two sides and they have this bracket holding it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Um, and again, if you had any questions, just leave them down below. Um, and if this video helped you out, help me out um, by liking and subscribing. And thanks for watching. Bye.